It's flashy, cool, and fun to build. It's the DIY LED Cube. Let's build it. To start the build, we need something like a cardboard box and also a piece of graph paper. We'll tape the graph paper to the box and then using a Sharpie, dot out a 3x3 cube spaced one inch apart. Then using a screwdriver a bit smaller than the LEDs, I poked out the nine holes. Then I drew a little diagram for the LED leads, inserted the LEDs, then bent all the positive legs down and began soldering them together. I used a piece of wire to finish up the two sides that didn't have connections. When I was all done, I used a button cell battery and some alligator clips to check my solder joints. Everything checked out, so the first layer of my 3x3 LED cube is done but I have to do two more now. Once you do the first one, the second and third layers are easier. Then, to make it a cube, the layers are stacked and the negative leads soldered together. The basic design of the LED cube is done. You know, I get asked all the time, where do I get the materials to build your projects? And for a lot of people, the materials are too expensive. Well, did you know you can buy the complete kit for this project directly from my site? I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Now to mount our DIY LED cube, we'll use a PCB board. The negative LED leads will be inserted into the holes in the PCB board. Now it's time to wire it up, so we'll have nine wires coming off those negative LED leads. I put in place a 28-pin IC holder that will allow us to mount the microcontroller that my buddy Michael helped me program. Now we'll use a second PCB board to build our circuit which will consist of transistors and resistors, and it will be built according to this schematic. We'll wire everything up, then our top LED board needs to be joined to the circuit board. Our final connections are power and ground, which will go to our twin AA battery holder. Batteries are in, and our DIY LED cube is flashing. To finish it up, I use some little screws and spacers to keep the two boards apart. Now, the 3x3 cube is a good way to start, but if you want to kick it up a notch, you build a 4x4 cube. That's 64 flashing LEDs. I built this one with white ones. Not enough? How about a 5x5 LED cube? That's a whopping 125 LEDs. I used bright blue ones for this, and it's impressive. Okay, you want to make your own? Well, here's how to get everything you need to build a DIY LED cube. The beginner kit includes everything you need to build a 3x3 cube. The circuit boards, the pre-programmed microcontroller, resistors, transistors, wire, the LEDs, and the battery holder. The hobbyist kit includes everything you need to build the 4x4 LED cube. This one's powered with a wall adapter. And the Guru Kit includes everything you need to build the impressive 5x5 LED cube. Regardless of the kit, you'll also get access to an extended build video that'll help you build this right. And as a bonus, you'll also get a super special limited edition Kip K Kits tin. Plus, you get access to my online members-only site where you'll get tutorial videos that will walk you through step-by-step -step on building the kits so you'll never mess up. Bonus content includes extra videos like the Irresistible Guide to Resistors and a primer on mastering the multimeter and an exclusive live webcast with me, Kip K. Click here or the link below in the description right now to get started with Kip K Kits. Find the Kip K Kits that fits you and check out immediately. You'll be doing DIY projects in no time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.